Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. This is a Pro Tools basic tutorial. Right now, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to get the tempo every single time for your song. Let's get right to it. Okay, so we've imported our beat, and now what we're going to do is, and what we're always going to be looking for the first time that we import the beat is, we're looking for the transients. The transients is what's going to always allow you to find that tempo immediately. So I'm looking for the initial place where the kick and the snare hit. So in this song, I can tell it's right here. So listen closely. Okay, cool. So as soon as that kind of roll came in with it's like ta 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 ta, boom. That's exactly where I want the tempo to start. That's where I'm going to mark myself, etc. I know that that kick is on the beat and that's what I'm trying to lock my tempo to. So you're always looking for the transient in the beat. Now, to make this perfect, what you're going to do is you're going to do this little thing in Pro Tools, which is amazing. You're going to enable this little button that says tab to transient. If you look right up here, you see where I'm clicking and hovering right here. It says tab to transient. You're going to make sure this is engaged. Now, what tab to transient does is it allows you to every time you hit tab, it's going to lock on to wherever there is a transient in the audio that you're highlighted. So, for instance, let's say, for instance, I'm right here. I'm going to hit tab. Watch. Tab, 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 tab. Every time I hit tab, it's hitting a transient. It's locking onto a transient. Thus, it's going to help us make a perfect cut on where we should be putting our tempo bar. So I know that the kick is over here. So let's find that kick again. So you see where it is. It was right there. So now I'm going to tab until I get over to that kick. Boom. And I feel like that's dead on. So let's listen to it right quick. Perfect. We are a, we ha literally have a marker exactly on the kick now. So what are we going to do now? We're going to do something. We're going to splice it. We're going to make a split right at that spot. So we're going to press B, the B key. And the B key is going to make a nice little split right at that spot. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come on over to here. You see this bar that says temper, this ruler right here? We're going to take this tempo ruler and we're going to move it over to that little splice that we made. Now you might drop it right here and say, okay, I'm done. You're actually wrong. If we zoom in even more and zoom, you can do a zoom by pressing this right here or the shortcut key is command open bracket, excuse me, close bracket. I'm gonna keep zooming in and you can clearly see that the tempo ruler is not actually locked on to that splice. So always make sure that you zoom in to make sure that you are locked into that splice. Okay, I'm moving over, moving over. I'm making sure it's there making sure it's in that spot. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is zoom in even more to make sure, and you see it's still not even in that spot. So now take it, drag it, boom. And now we're dead in there. There's no, we can't even zoom in anymore. We know that it's right there locked onto the spot. So let's play that back one more time. Make sure we're on a kick. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is we're going to bring in a click track. And now when we bring in a click track, all the click track is is a metronome. It's literally letting us know this is what the session has the timing to. Stay with me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to track, create click track, boom. And now we're gonna press play, let's listen. Let's turn up the click track just a little bit. Listen closely. Okay, it doesn't take someone to be musically inclined to realize that is out of sync and that's off the tempo. Okay, so how do we get the tempo? This is how you do it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to that little tempo ruler that we had created and we're gonna double click it. So double clicking that diamond, boom. And you see right there it says the 120 BPM. It's telling us what do you want the tempo to be. So before we do that, let's mute the tempo, the click track, let's press play. And when I press play, I'm going to open up the diamond again to give me the thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the letter T on my keyboard. Tap tempo. This is an option in Pro Tools a lot of people may not know about that you keep tapping T and it's going to literally tell you what the tempo is according to how you tap. So look at this closely. I'm going to press play and I'm going to tap it to T. I'm going to tap it about eight times to get an accurate reading. Okay, play. T, 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 T. 
Okay, so it looks like 93 is my tempo, right? Now what we're gonna do is to make sure is we're gonna unmute the click track, boom, and we're gonna press play. Let's see what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, we just found a tempo. Now, you always have to be very sure. So what I always suggest is always move to like the middle or the end of the track to make sure it doesn't fall out of sync. Listen closely. Still good, let's listen. We have the tempo and you'll realize if we go to the beginning, it's still in, in sync too. This is the most sure fire way to always get the tempo correctly. You tab to a transient, the kicks when people produce is usually always on the beat. So, or the kick or the snare, any of the transients. So that's why I tab to that transient, lock onto that, splice it, put the tempo ruler right there, then find the tempo by just tapping it out. And this is, guys, this is the most sure fire way to get your tempo. This is how I've been doing it for years, as opposed to trying to eyeball it and stuff like that. This is the best way to do it. A little bit of extra information. The reason why sometimes when you bring in your tracks and when you just try to put in the tempo that the producer said it is doesn't work is because when it comes to MP3 bouncing, MP3s unfortunately give a little bit of air in the beginning of the bounce. So it's not actually on the beat. So the place where you actually started the beat it, when you render it to an mp3 it's not it's going to move the beginning of your beat over just a little bit it's going to give it a little break and that throws off the tempo and that's why your mp3s won't lock on uh when you actually do this that's why i always just do it to the transient and do it right there so that when they take those vocals and you send it to them it'll still be in key, in on the tempo as far as everything what you did in the whole nine that's a little bit of extra information so that was a quick basic tutorial on how to always get the tempo perfect every single time hope you enjoyed that make sure you comment like subscribe make sure you follow us at help me devon on the instagram and let me know if you guys have any more questions or want any more basics from me hope you enjoyed until next time